guys, it's me, Kat. I've been a little MIA. So I thought I'd come on here and do a little video and just kind of keep you up to date on what's going on. On July 9th, 2019, I made the very difficult decision to put my almost nine-year-old Great Dane Sam to sleep. It was a very hard decision for me. After my husband's death, Sam's health deteriorated quickly. I put him on antidepressants because he was depressed. Um, he started having stomach issues, so I had to change his diet, and I experimented with his diet a lot just until I could find something that agreed with him. His legs were giving out. <sighs> He was very achy. He wasn't as mobile. He was hard. It was getting harder and harder for him to get up. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that um, I had bought him a harness for his front legs and his back legs so I can help him. I took him to physical therapy at this place called Bark Beach Animals Re Rehabilitation Center. And they were wonderful. They did laser therapy. They did acupuncture. They did physical therapy. Did I mention all the medications he's on? He was on pain meds, antidepressants. I had him on probiotics. I had him on um, acid reflux medicine. And I had him on CBD as well. And I just, when my husband died in December, And Sam started acting weird. I took him to the vet. I mean, I was in constant contact with my vet. And they knew what was going on. And they helped me as much as I could. But his health really just took a toll. I mean, I even traded my husband's Jeep for my friend's station wagon so I can transport Sam easier. So he wouldn't... So he, because he had a hard time getting up to a vehicle that was high. And it was hard for me to see that it was time. It, I, I went back and forth. I did a lot of research. I asked a lot of advice. The best advice I got was from my friend Emery, who ironically is also a young widow like myself. She lost her husband Brian a year ago. And she just had to put down her, her dog, Bella, last month. So I asked her, how, you de how do you decide? And she for sure gave me some advice that made me realize it was time. She said, consider how you're helping Sam. Do you have to help him walk? Do you have to help him get up? Do you have to help him go to the bathroom? Do you have to help him eat? And just think, is he living his senior years in dignity? And that really hit hard for me. Because I realized, Sam would let me help him get up. I could tell that he did not like for me to help him walk a lot. So I could tell when he was hungry and I would just, you know, pick him up by the two harnesses and get him to the his food dish. If he would fall, sometimes he would just fall while he was standing. And um, what I would, I could see the frustration in his face and he would just get up and then he would want to walk back to the bed. And I would try to, he wouldn't eat. Like I would, I would bring the bowl to him and try to feed him and he would just turn away, just turn away. And then after a few minutes, he would want to try it again. He would want to get up, go to his food dish and eat. And when he could do it successfully on his own, that's when he would have an appetite, but he would not let me feed him. He had a couple accidents in the house and I could tell when he did, he was embarrassed and he was not happy about it. And like, to, you know, I didn't care. Like, I was just like, let me help you. But I could, he was ashamed of what had happened. And I could tell. I didn't want to see it. I wanted, I would have 
I would have spent all the money I had, everything, <laughs> to keep him here. But Emery helped me realize that it was time. By the way, Emery is, um, I met her because she was not one of my original dog walkers. So she's, she's um, had many years experiences with dogs. She helps rescue, she helps foster, she helps, she's very loving to animals. So I trust her advice and it was very clear. And when I made the, the appointment, the appointment to have him put down, I talked to Sam and I said, you're gonna be with Brad soon and I love you. Brad was really his person. As much as Sam loved me, that was his dog. Like Sam, my husband was Sam's human. My veterinarian, I go to Redondo Shores Veterinarian Clinic in South Redondo. They make house calls. And Dr. Yelenik, who has been seeing Sam probably for seven years now, knows him. The whole staff knows him. They made a house call, and um, my appointment was for Thursday, July 11th at 8.30. So when they came, Sam was ready, and they were familiar faces. And Dr. Yelenik and the vet tech, her name's Angel, they came in crying. And they did the procedure, and I held Sam, and he wasn't scared, and he went peacefully, and I miss him, and that's how it happened. One day before my seven month anniversary of my husband's death, and he also, we also put him down here. That's the bed he died on, or we put him to sleep. I don't know how to call it. But like a few feet over there is where the paramedics come and save my husband. So not to try to sound morbid or grim. I mean, it's kind of poetic. My, my Sam's died, went to sleep where my husband didn't survive. They're together now. I have a couple videos I filmed prior to me putting Sam down. So, and I haven't decided if I want to put it up or not. So don't be surprised if he appears in a few videos. But again, I haven't decided if I'm going to edit those. But this one's going up. And I'll be a tribute to Sam. So I'll end this here and I'll, I'll put a montage of pictures after the video. Something I can, I don't, I haven't decided. I just, just enjoy. And thank you for all the love and support. Sam meant a lot to me and you guys mean a lot to me. So I thought I'd share this with you. Thanks. Who's the birthday boy? Who's the birthday boy? Come on, Sam. Who's the best birthday dog ever? Come on, Sam. Look at the cake. Ooh. Come on, Sam. Birthday cake. Let's go. Let's go, cousin. Come on. Let's go. sing happy birthday to you because I got you a cake right here. See? You see, baby? Yes, sir. Ready? Don't say his name on Do you want to take this one out? Oh, I put it on here, right? Sure. Is it? Does that one will fit? No, sir. Do you want to pull the other one out so you can put it in, in this bowl? Oh, I was just going to put it on the ground. I don't just want to do that. Will it fit in here? Do you video in here? Do you know? Huh? Which one? Are you going to videotape it or not? Uh, no, I need to video each one. Do you get it? I'll just sing. Okay, ready? Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to Sam. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, best dog ever. Samson. Samson. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to, to you. Samson. Oh, he loves it. Look at that. With the hat. I know, with the hat. And the cat. And the cat. He's, she's just waiting. 
something fall. For something fall, yeah. So. Maybe, we'll see. Oh, on my toe. Let's see if, uh, you want to try it from my toe? Real quick, right there. Oh, Sam. Sam. What happened? Oh. All right, buddy. Good boy. Oh, look at that. Good job, buddy. Ripley's totally eating it from my toe. And Kiki. She's just Kiki. <laughs> Best dog ever. Does it have to be every five years for this? No, buddy. No. Every year, no. We're just bad parents. Are you familiar or videoing? Videoing. Uh oh.